Hey guys, this is Taylor at Go Power Sports. Today we're going to be assembling a stage one kit on our Tillotson 212. You win. Perfect. So in this stage one kit, you have your air filter adapter with the choke bracket and hold down screw. You have the air filter with a note that says carb jet enclosed and your 038 jet is inside. Your exhaust pack, which is an exhaust gasket, two nuts and two lock washers. You have the air filter cover, exhaust and header sleeve. So the first thing we're gonna do is prep this engine in order to put on all these parts. We'll take off the exhaust, the air filter box, trim some lines and get it ready. You will start by taking off your exhaust this is a 13 millimeter socket. The first thing I do is cut this fuel tank vent. Then we will go around to the air box. On these Tillotsons, they have a little EPA box on the bottom. We'll, we'll remove that as well. This valve cover vent, I'll typically just cut it right after the first 90 and point it down. While we're here, we might as well loosen your throttle bracket. Make sure that's free. Now we're gonna take off the carburetor. We'll pop the bowl off and install the bigger jet. This is a 10 millimeter socket to remove the bowl. Now on some engines like the, the 196 clones that come on the Coleman, they come with a non-removable jet. If you get one of those, you will have to get a different carburetor. Use a flathead screwdriver, remove the stock jet. If your E-tube falls out, you'll see there's two sides. You'll put the side with the smaller diameter in first. This is our 038 main jet. Before you put the bowl on, check out your O-ring. Make sure it is still down in the groove. Now that the carburetor has the bigger jet, we will put it back onto the engine. Before you slide it all the way on, it's easier to put in the throttle rod with the carburetor spaced out and your governor rod spring. Put your rubber air cleaner spacer back on. Next up is the air filter adapter. On your choke bracket, there is a slotted hole. That is what screws on to the air filter adapter. To tighten this, you can use an eight millimeter socket or little wrench. On the Tillotson 212 engines, they come with these nuts, which you cannot use with the air filter adapter. Use these two for the air filter adapter and put these nuts to hold down the tank. To put these nuts on, you will need a quarter inch drive, 10 millimeter socket. Most 3H drive 10, mil 10 millimeter sockets, the OD is too big and it will not slide down inside the air filter adapter. And this part is pretty important. Run them both down flush, and then you're gonna wanna alternate back and forth, tightening each side a little at a time. If you don't do this, if you tighten one side all the way and then go back to the other, you will have an air leak. Now, after you get the air filter adapter tightened down and torqued, you will need to either adjust or tighten your choke bracket. This is the, the best and easiest way to do it. These are a small eight millimeter wrench. Most of the time these choke brackets do not line up perfect if you're very particular about your engine. What I do is take just a pair of needle nose pliers and you can bend the end. That actually helps keep on your choke a little bit better. These angled air filters for the hose clamp, you can use either a Phillips or a flathead. 
We prefer ours most of the time, depending on clearancing, pointing as far back as possible. Okay, the intake side is complete. Now we're gonna flip it over and do the exhaust. And then the eight millimeter nut. And to tighten these, it's the same how same as how we removed them. We're gonna use a 13 millimeter socket. After you get your air filter tightened, in our stage one kit, you have a choice. First of all, you have a choice on your air filter. You can pick either red or blue. And then we have a few different sock options. This one came with a blue. A nice clean look. So in the kit, there are a few different options. You have your color options to start, and then you also have add-ons. One of the add-ons is a muffler or silencer. Then you have your header heat sleeve. You have a vent filter kit. And then you also have 18 pound valve springs you can add on. These Tillotsons already come with 26 pound springs, but if you have a Predator, they come with 10.8 or less. You'll need to add those if you're removing the governor. This silicone header sleeve, it is stretchy. So you will just put it over the end of the pipe. On. Now, if you're adding a muffler or if it's long, you can obviously trim these to fit. Best thing to use on it is probably a pair of heavy duty scissors. You use a knife, it makes it kind of rough. Your muffler or silencer. This is a heavy duty stainless steel clamp. It works really well holding this muffler onto the pipe and it really don't loosen up at all. This is an add-on that they throw in you really don't need it unless you're racing at a track where they require you to have a safety wire on your muffler in case it falls off. This muffler on this staged pipe, you want to be sure not to slide it too far on and go on to the second stage. If you do, you'll never get it to tighten up and you'll bust your clamp. So keep it out on this section that is one and five sixteenths. And you use a 10 millimeter socket to tighten this clamp. To make sure it's tight, what you can do is try to twist the muffler. If you can't twist it, it's probably tight enough. Or after you run the engine through a heat cycle, go in and retorque it and sometimes you can get it a little tighter. For the vent filters, you have two different sizes. There's one with a quarter inch barb and one with a 3 16 The 3 16 will go up here on the fuel tank vent. The quarter inch you will actually shim with this piece of fuel line. So you'll put this down into your valve cover vent hose. Trim off some of the excess. And then your quarter inch vent filter will go inside that fuel line. And that is our stage one kit from Go Power Sports.